हॅलो फ्रेंड्स मायसेल्फ प्रोफेसर नरेंद्र काटीकर असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग वालचंद इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू प्रेझेंट द टॉपिक इंजेक्शन मोल्डिंग द लर्निंग आउटकम फॉर दिस पर्टिक्युलर सेशन ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टुडंट विल एबल टू understood the process and application of plastic injection molding process the plastic engineering consists the various plastic part manufacturing processes out of that we are going to see the plastic injection molding the content for this particular presentation the flow will be like this introduction plastic injection molding machine plastic injection molding process polymers commonly used for injection molding advantages for the same disadvantages for the same and at the end of session we'll see the application for the same in the introduction let us see the points plastic material need of plastic material products and plastic part manufacturing as you are aware the plastic material the importance for the same is increasing day by day almost many of the metal rather the material is trying to replace with the material plastic this need has been extended due to the particular advantages properties of plastic like less in weight particularly opaqueness to transparency kind of optical properties improved mechanical properties and easily moldable properties because of the same the plastic material is going to be used nowadays for many technical domestic and other varieties of part manufacturing now let us see the particularly molding machine which is used for plastic injection now here you can observe the particular setup the schematic diagram shows the majorly the reciprocating screw which is covered with the barrel and further with the heaters now the gap between the screw and the barrel is going to be accommodated by the means of plastic raw material which is fed in the granular or powder form it is feded through the feed hopper at the end of the barrel the nozzle is provided which is connected to the right end part the right end part includes the molds ra rather divided into two parts one mold is fixed another mold is connected to the movable platen and this is this can be moved with the tie rods at the left hand of the machine setup let us see that hydraulic arrangement is there piston cylinder kind of mechanism which will provide the particular rotary as well as transverse movement for the same now this is the total setup at the nozzle you can see over there non return valve is also to be there this is in general idea about the molding machine now let us see the plastic injection molding process now the process is divided into the four parts which is animated over here the process is divided into four parts clamping injection cooling and ejection now this is the first stage clamping now in the clamping the particularly the movable platen moves forward to the through the means of hydraulic piston cylinder arrangement the movable platen which carries the particularly the movable mold half that is going to be matched to the fixed mold half now this stage is the very first stage which going to provide you the mold cavity for mold cavity generation two halves has to be seen very perfectly matched one with the other this is the second stage of plastic injection molding process after fulfilling the particular mold matching one with the other ensuring the surface contact will firmly be there the next stage is arise that is injection 
through the means of hopper the raw material is feeded which is forwarded through the means of lead screw and which is injected into the mold cavity through the means of nozzle and we have to see that particular equivalent amount of quantity as that has to be filled into the cavity is to be there is to be forwarded through the means of lead screw this is the second stage after ensuring the thorough cavity filling by the means of raw material the particularly mold halves has to be cooled down the molding halves are required to be cooled down through the means of various cooling system arrangements like the molds carries the particularly hollow cylindrical structure through the means the cold water is forwarded thus the molds are immediately cooled down for the particular mold material this will be carried out in a very few seconds itself the next stage is after ensuring the cooled down of the molds rather the plastic raw material converted product we have to see that the parts is to be easily removed from the molds for the same particularly ejection system is going to be carried out and handled through the means of hydraulic piston cylinder arrangement normally the movable platen is moved back ultimately the pins are stationary rather ejection pins are stationary ultimately the ejection pin pushes the solidified part product which is ultimately fall down likewise in a clamping injection cooling and ejection the plastic injection molding process is going to be over now let us see the polymers commonly used for the injection molding process polystyrene polyamide polypropylene polyethylene and so many others these are the common plastics rather the polymers used for injection molding process as we seen the process is having the advantages like fast production low cost in mass production material and color flexibility low labor cost design flexibility high precision complex parts can be also produced and obviously the very low waste is there these are the enormous advantages of injection molding as the process is also having some limitations rather the disadvantages high initial tooling cost that is mold rather the die cost high initial setup cost part design restrictions are there and accurate costing is little bit difficult for injection molding now let us see that where it could be used application of injection molding at this stage of the session are you able to share some of the day to day application of plastic injection molding process let us think about for a moment yes with the knowing the injection molding process i suppose that you had en enlisted some of the applications let us i will share some of the applications with you one piece chair and small tables automotive dashboards mechanical parts like a gears etc packaging material bottle caps pocket combs then some musical instruments parts can be also produced with the same storage containers baskets trays soap cases buckets etc i suppose that i had shared the technical as well as the domestic product which are produced by the application of injection molding the references for this presentation nptel then wikipedia as well as a modern plastic handbook Thank you.